it's Rachel here with Nicole. Welcome back or to my channel and today we are doing my annual American Girl doll haul which if you're new to my channel is where I show you all the dolls that I collected back in 2023. I have done this for the past two years. I showed the dolls I collected in 2021 and 2022 and in those videos I got at least five or more dolls but this year I was very proud of myself and I only got three dolls but I think that's because a little bit of a life update. I got very burnt out with my dolls this year to the point where I didn't really want to do anything with them. I got super burnt out content creator wise and my room is very small and I have a very big doll collection and so I just got super super overwhelmed with all the dolls that I had like don't get me wrong I am very very grateful for my collection and to be able to collect all these American Girl dolls but I think it just got to the point that it became a bit too much for me and so over the summer I do have a video of this filmed if you're interested let me know down below and I can edit it and post it but I put a huge chunk of my collection into storage to the point where I out of 30 of American Girl dolls only had five of them on display in my room. On the shelf here behind Nicole, you can see the dolls that I kept out. Now I have six of them on display and behind the camera, I have about eight of them as well. But it just kind of got to the point where I got super just overwhelmed with my collection and had to do something with it. This year, I might try to downsize. However, I am super attached to all my dolls and have been swapping them out of storage with the dolls that I have on display behind the camera. But who knows? In this year, I do plan on traveling a lot, so I might try to downsize my collection. I don't know, but stay tuned. But anyways, that's kind of the life update for me and why I really haven't been posting much because I got super burnt out. But without further ado, let's just jump right on into the video and show you the dolls that I did collect this year. So I like to say that I started my year off strong in doll collecting because I found a Truly Me number 38 on Facebook Marketplace for only $75 Canadian. I was so happy to have found her because a few days beforehand or even like a day beforehand, I was on Poshmark and I found her for 125 Canadian with her box and full meat outfit. I don't really care for the whole meat outfit in the box situation. I just care if the doll's in really good quality and so usually this doll goes for like $200 or more because I don't know if she's a rare doll or if she's one that's just super popular but I wanted her so badly and I also wanted the doll it was between her or the doll with the tan skin tone brown hair bangs and hazel eyes those two dolls were the only ones on my wish list this year and I managed to find Isla I don't remember when I got her let's see here I have it written down in my notes app I got her on February 22nd of 2023 and again I'm so happy to have found her she was in such amazing condition I do have a video of me fixing her up. It's one of my more recent videos and I absolutely love her. Her hair is in such good condition and she is one of my display dolls along with Caroline that I don't really use or take pictures of because I just want her in as good of condition as possible. But yeah, I really, really love Isla and I'm so happy to have found her. And then we have Miss Leah Clark. Now, if you've seen my secondhand American Girl doll collection video, you know the poor struggle that I've had with this doll. I love Leah Clark dolls. I love her eyebrows, her eye color, hair color, everything about her. I absolutely love so I was super happy to have found her at the thrift store for $50. However, it wasn't until I got home that I realized the huge struggle that I had with this doll, which is, is that she smelled so strongly of a campfire that I could not place her with my other dolls because I did not want her to end up stinking up my other dolls as well. It was really laced into her body fabric. Her skin tone, I managed to kind of clean off and she was totally fine there. The smell went away, but, and I also managed to wash her hair and so the scent kind of went away from there too, but her body fabric really really smelt bad. I tried storing her in a box with some fleecy sheets with like one fleecy sheet. I got that tip from quite a few people on Instagram and then she ended up stinking of a fleecy sheet and so she does still have that kind of campfire scent to her now. It has like for the most part gone away and so I now store her with my other dolls but I really don't know what to do with her. I tried customizing her and giving her freckles but it's her wig that I'm really struggling with. If a doll does not have a good wig I really struggle to connect with them and I don't know what I'm going to do about it her wig is super dry and it's lost a lot of its sort of curliness to it that the original Leah dolls have. I don't know what I'm going to do with her. She's still going to be my 2023 project because I am determined to fix this doll because I love her so much. I think she's just gorgeous minus those little flaws. But yeah, that's kind of the big struggle that I've had with Leah. So who knows? Maybe she's a doll that I unhaul this year or maybe I end up keeping her in my collection. I guess we will see. And last but not least, we have, in my opinion, one of the cutest just like you, number 24. This is Zoe. I got her on September 27th. 2023 from Poshmark. I don't remember how much I paid for her. I want to say maybe like $40, something really cheap. And she is honestly so cute. I did customize her and I put my old Chilling Me number 27's wig on. This is from like the My American Girl era, that is, sorry. And honestly, she is so, so cute. I do have a video of me customizing her that should be coming out pretty soon after this video. So be sure to stay tuned for that. Be 
yeah i absolutely love zoe i think she is so adorable she has the most sweetest little face and i actually really like her with this wig i think she looks super cute but yeah i don't have much of a backstory for zoe yet other than that um yeah that's zoe <laughs> kind of a short explanation uh like i said i got her from poshmark and i got her in september and yeah that's kind of it that's that's zoe and that is it for today's video those are all the dolls that i collected in 2023 i really hope you guys enjoyed i honestly don't know if i'm going to collect any dolls this year i mean if you know me very well and you've been watching this channel for a while you know that i always say that i'm done collecting dolls and continue to buy more but i am super excited for 2024 and the content that i have planned i really want to try and stay more so in this sort of collector based video realm if you have any suggestions of videos you would love to see from me be sure to let me know whether that be my american girl clothing collection dolls i regret buying anything like that be sure to let me know because i would love to make those type of videos for you guys i also have a lot of fun content planned you will probably be seeing my doll aspen she is over nicole's shoulder there with a the blonde wig and i plan on traveling a whole lot this year which i'm very grateful for i've been saving my money for a really long time and she'll be coming to europe with me this summer so be sure to stay tuned for some packing videos and vlogs and she'll also be coming with me to a few other places this year so like i said stay tuned for those videos and again if you have any video suggestions be sure to leave them in the comments below as i would really really appreciate it i love you all so so much i hope you have an amazing 2024 and i will see you all in the next video bye